Hey guys, it's a rainy day in New England and I'm sitting outside in my driveway. I'm on uh, shore power, just a 15 amp. And I thought I'd uh, take some time to talk about each one of the mods that I've done. Um, I have detailed videos for each of them specifically, but this is kind of just going to quickly give an overview of the different mods that I've done to increase comfort and enjoyment in my uh, coach. So first thing obviously you can see is a TV. I mounted a TV under the kitchen cabinet and almost everything I do requires, even if you get, you, you mod a part and you, you order a part, it usually comes with having to do some modifications even to that. In the case of the TV, the TV uh, bracket um, was only cable swiveling uh, plus or minus 45 degrees and I modified the bracket so that I could swivel it um, about plus or minus 70 degrees. So I can just show underneath here. You can see there's that barked cutout and you can see the kind of the rough the rough cut out there that's where I um, expanded it so to, to otherwise the viewing angle was uh, like 45 degrees like this and um, so I put it into I, I held the piece in a grinder and I used a Dremel tool and it wasn't it wasn't uh, easy but it was effective so I ground out and extended the arcs on both sides so now I'm able to swivel this TV for a great viewing angle for the front. You can see that there. And then also from the back. So here's the viewing angle from the back with that modification. You can see I had to relocate the light. So like the best spot for the TV was where that light was originally. So I actually just uh, relocated the light. So you can see the four bolts that hold the TV bracket on and the light wiring went down this hole originally so that the light was about where this bracket is. And what I did is I drilled a hole at the back of this channel and I ran it down and mounted the light back there. And while I was at it, I installed a, um, a dimmable light. And this is the only one I've done in the coach so far, but uh, I like it um, and I wanna do more. So the way this works is you press it on, press it off. If you press and hold it, it'll do the opposite of what it did last time. So the, in that case, it brightened it. So if I press and hold this light again, it should dim it. And it does, and I really like that uh, feature. Um, it's a larger, it takes up a, a lot a more space than the original light, but I, I do like it. So again, uh, if I kind of lucked out, different size TVs all have different clearances, but this one just makes it past the um, faucet. Um, for a great viewing angle from the back. So that's that's one of the mods I did. And uh, it came out great. I like this TV because it has the over-the-air tuner in it. So I'm able to watch um, live over-the-air TV, which is what I'm doing now. And for that, I just bought uh, this antenna off of um, Amazon and it's worked great and I can set this antenna up in here where the um, it, it wedges perfectly you have some of your um, canvas for the side of the pop-up and I just set that base on there if it's a nice day out and the signal's not great I'll mount the antenna you know outside it has a magnetic base but it turns out um, I'm able to receive uh, plenty of channels with just this simple system. So I have my over-the-air antenna there and I run 
I use these, uh, for now, I have these uh, straps that hold the screen and I just run that cable down and I plug that coax into the back of the TV. So that's how I have um, a nice TV system. I also installed this uh, WeBoost um, cellular phone amplifier. And this was the most um, difficult installation and time consuming of anything I did. Cause I want, I had some goals. I wanted to be able to get at the amplifier, mount it securely, not have it take up space, be able to power it on, power it off, be able to monitor it and uh, do that conveniently. And the, um, the box that Winnebago provides, the roof access port, um, actually comes in so the 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 external antenna would come from the roof and um, you could access that external uh, access port from this area in the back of the rear cabinet but I didn't want to mount the um, amplifier here and I didn't want to mount the antenna here so and I want it more of a permanent installation than some of the other solutions. So I have my uh, WeBoost antenna, um, you know, installed on the roof and I can raise and lower it. And what I did is I had to run, I installed um, an outlet. I installed two outlets up here. One is a 115 outlet and one is a 12 volt cigarette lighter. And um, I, when I ran the coax cable, this is, um, the one that goes to the external antenna, I had to run that. And when I ran that line, I also pulled through a 115, some Romex um, 115 line so that I could install an outlet up here to power this. And this 115 volt outlet is um, powered from this outlet back here. And I replaced the RV uh, outlet with a like a um, residential style outlet and I tapped into that and daisy chained that 115 up to the front so you pull you pull the uh, external antenna and the 115 lines through the back or the side wall of the coach up to here so um, and then I have my Here's my internal antenna and I can kind of have the um, it's it's coax cable kind of coiled up right there and I can position that at different places throughout the coach. Another uh, great mod that I did is this uh, duplicate table mod um, where I, I simply just installed an additional table in this raised flooring floor area. Um, and this table, uh, it's, it's such a simple mod and it really increases the um, usability of the coach. So I have a separate video for this as well, but you know, it, it increases the area that you can use to cook and do food prep. Uh, it also provides the same, you know, table to the passenger as it does for the driver. And you can actually set these in different configurations. Like say you're working remote and you need more um, work area for, you know, the driver seat can be swivel like that and kind of have a, a larger extended workstation. So th this was such an, a rewarding mod because it wasn't, it was, it was a lot more work to figure out where you could drill the hole safely than it was to actually install it. it. So, and what I do is I leave this table up um, and push it to the side and I, ins I store the new table in its, in its original storage spot behind, this, behind the seat. So I have this one stored, I uh, just push to the side um, and I can still use my ladder, but I'm able to move. People are still able to move throughout the coach um, and it's still a great, a strong surface area 
Um, whereas if you have a longer table, it, it cantilever and um, it may not be able to withstand uh, weight. So uh, that, that was that was one of the really most rewarding mods that I've done. So, and then you can see I've been working on uh, mattresses. So I ordered some custom mattresses um, to kind of improve the comfort of the mattresses that came with uh, Winnebago Solus. It, it, it makes them uh, thicker and, and a, a dual thickness or dual density foam are in these mattresses. And so it's, it's more, it's gonna be more comfortable. And also I extended the uh, sleep area. I, I created a custom mattress to extend the sleep area over the uh, table mod in the back which allows you to put a, a table that you can order off Amazon back there and you can extend this, uh, the surface, the sleeping surface to be like a, a king size bed. So I'm still in the process of unboxing that. I did enough to, to see that um, my intent was it would be level um, sleeping surface from this is uh, just replaced. These, this piece here is just replacing the original mattress and that's a new custom piece and I wanted to see that that provides a level sleeping surface and it looks like it does. Another mod that I did is the installation of uh, shelves, a shelf and a divider under the sink here. So um, there, there was no shelves in there. There's just one large area and um, I installed uh, a nice shelf that I can put like these bigger uh, frying pans and uh, plates and I can store some water. You can store whatever you want um, under there. So that was another um, simple mod that was rewarding and got a lot of this stuff that a lot of the stuff that's here I had sitting in my uh, um, in a in a crate and I was storing it under my bed. Um, so. Another simple mod, if I go to the cab, it's a simple mod is I made some little liners for this area here to the right of the steering wheel, the 2022 chassis. It had a hard plastic and exposed screw. And so I, I covered that up with a, um, with some custom mats. So um, th this, this, I have to go back to this outlet here. These outlets are great because the only outlets that are available um, are here at the bottom of the, the jump seat. So you have a 115, you have a 12 volt here, but when you plug stuff into that, you're, you, you know, it gets kicked and tripped on and it's in the way of feet. And uh, I'm sick of buying cables. So I put a, um, a 12 volt outlet here and I run it down to something like this here. I could plug this in. So this is just like a expansion port for 12 volt and it has um, many connections. I have one that says USB-C, there's a USB, cigarettes. And um, so I can plug in this now to here and power that up and it has a built in a meter too but then I can set that down to the I can wrap the cables and stuff behind the seat and no more cables everywhere um, and then you can plug in your your stuff your computer and whatever you're working on your phones and stuff from that and uh, so I, I just prioritize cable management with that it's it was a lot of work um, it was less work to install this 12 volt outlet than it was to install this 115. This 115, I had to pull wires from the rear of the coach and t uh, change out the outlet in the back. But this 12 volt um, uh, outlet was relatively easy to do. And the way I did that was I tapped into the, the power for this light here and um, I, I, I tapped into it. I don't know if you can see it actually, you know what I did. Let me see if I can move some of this stuff in. 
Yeah. So I, I tapped in to this. This is a 12 volt line. And I, it, it actually took some custom work because um, where I tapped in to this 12 volt for that 12 volt outlet, um, there you have your connections, you know, your terminals and they take up space and things are really crowded. So I had to hollow out um, some of the wood back here to kind of be able to make it so those pieces sit in there flush. Um, and then you can just run that 12 volt wire um, into the back of the cabinet and there's what I did is you can take off this uh, panel if you take off this panel there's a lot of space behind here there's a lot of empty space in there so um, it was easy to uh, to run that 12 volt line you know back behind the panel it comes out behind this wall I took off this and um, you know I drilled the hole to install the outlet and I was able to reach through this when it was not in there um, to, to wire this guy up. Um, so I think that's pretty much it for, except for my uh, garage storage system. It's, uh, it's back there, but I don't think we can really see it. So um, I have some milk crate storage system back there that supports the table that expands the sleeping surface and um I, that is uh you can find information about that mod in my um, on my channel so that's kind of a, a quick tour of a bunch of the different mods there are of various degrees of difficulty like some are simple it's funny like one of the simpler mods is this table but it's also one of the most rewarding like i said um, this one's relatively simple, but if you want to expand the viewing angle, it takes a little work to do that. So I just thought I'd share. This coach is awesome. I absolutely love the Winnebago Solus. And uh, I just think it it's just so modular. Uh, and even though I have this made up right now in a king size bed, all of this can be pushed up and um, stowed away to make the aisle open, you know, I because it's not a permanent table or a permanent shelf back there I can fold down that table in the back um, And uh, stow it flat and be able to get stuff and store it in the back of the garage area So this is just an amazing coach with a lot of versatility And I'm um, really enjoying it. So if you guys have any questions or if there's anything that you'd like to see or any mods that you've done, you can uh, comment and uh, I'll check them out.